So moving on to my next question, uh, that uh, uh, how and why it is important for both Pakistan and India to uh, consider a strategic uh, restraint regime? It's uh, uh, for any two armed, nuclear armed countries, you need to have some sort of a strategic restraint regime. And as you know, Pakistan has been advocating a strategic re restraint regime for a very long time. Uh, after the nuclear tests were, that were conducted by both the countries, Pakistan suggested a zero missile regime. Pakistan suggested that uh, second strike capability should not be de developed and so on. But India rejected all that and now all those thresholds have been crossed. So the only way that you can really have a strate uh, strategic restraint regime is again to have a strategic dialogue in which you do number crunching, in which you uh, sort of uh, have um, uh, numbers and uh, restrictions on deployments where your arms, uh, your missiles will be deployed and so on. So while Pakistan realizes that India may have uh, uh, to consider China's nuclear uh, arsenal also, but at the end of the day, if you look at India's conventional deployments, they're primarily against Pakistan because of the terrain factor. Uh, and therefore, any restraint regime would also have to consider uh, conventional weapons, especially uh, offensive conventional weapons like forward bases and so on. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, you have to move towards conflict resolution and the core conflict is very much Kashmir. Uh, and um, India has tried every tactic possible. It has used excessive repression. It has used rape as a weapon of war. It's documented. It has used pellet guns and now finally the international community is taking note of it. As you know, there was a hearing for the first time by the Human Rights Committee in the European Parliament on uh, the human rights abuses in occupied Kashmir. And now a, whole, a group of members of the European Parliament have written to the Indian government asking that they stop the use of pellet guns and they remove all the draconian laws in occupied Kashmir. So the world is taking notice. And the other, what happened after Pulwama was also that Kashmir was brought to center stage in the global uh, political arena. The world was again woke up to the fact that Kashmir is the core issue of conflict between two nuclear armed neighbors that are Pakistan and India.